Hey, what's up, Randy? It's Buddy from Capstarter Volkswagen, the sales and internet manager. I promised you a video um, of a gray uh, Volkswagen Jetta or Passat that has a uh, sunroof, uh, heated seats, and navigation. I do believe those are the things you're looking for. Hey, I have an SE right behind me. Uh, this one has the Apple CarPlay radio. Now, check it out. If you have an Apple or a Samsung, it mirrors your phone. So, your navigation on your phone pulls up to the screen. So, I'll show you two screens, uh, one with the nav and one without it, and you can kind of pick which one you want. But, I got the great Passat behind me. Let's take a walk around. All right, this one has the lighting package on it. Very, very nice. This is your platinum gray. Um, it comes with like a um, anthracite dark interior, almost black, or a crystal gray. Four door, this is the family car compared to the Jetta's a little bit sportier. This is more of the family car. Um, so this drives a little bit more comfortable than the Jetta does. Um, and they share almost the same gas mileage. Um, with this one, you're looking at the 1.8 turbo. Uh, I do believe you're looking at 36 miles per gallon and 25 in city just using cheap gas, which is the 87. Uh, the Jetta and the Passat are both five star crashing uh, from back inside. Uh, let's take a look on the inside of this one. All right, they are both five seaters, of course. Uh, leatherette interior. Um, I'll show you an SEL Premium. That's that one has the hard navigation key on the inside. This one just has the Apple Play, so it pulls the navigation from your phone. Uh, you already know what that looks like. I just wanted to um, kind of give you a couple different options. There's your sunroof. Uh, along with the sunroof, a lot of the Volkswagens will come with the car net. Um, that does everything, just in case you're laying in your bed that I lock my car. Uh, you could pull up your app on your phone. It shows you your car outside. You could lock it, um, see how much gas is in it, or if you have younger kids, see how fast they're driving and where they're taking the vehicle. Pretty sweet. Um, the SE has a little wood trim on the inside. Here's your big, beautiful radio, which has the Apple Play. Once again, you plug it in. Your nav shows up. You're texting. Someone texts you. It voices it to you, and then you voice it back without touching your phone. Uh, the next Passat, um, I'll show you the one that has the navigation um, hard key in it, and you let me know which one you like. Um, dual climate control, push button start and stop. Um, this one has a multifunction computer, of course, with voice command all throughout the vehicle. Um, with the voice command, you're able to do the radio, um, phone, everything inside the car. Uh, the Passat's pretty cool because it does have the automatic lights, 12-way power seat with power lumbar support. And let's move on to the next ride. Okay, and backup camera. Okay, Randy, if you wanted a Passat that had the navigation already in the car without plugging in your phone, this is the SEL Premium 1.8 Turbo Passat. Um, so with the Premium, you get a little bit more stuff on the car. Um, do like the spoiler on the back of the vehicle. Um, this one has... Um, all the parking sensors and I do believe the uh, self park which is pretty cool let's take a look on the inside though with the SCL premium you get a little bit nicer things like badging inside the door memory seats one two and three and then you get leather instead of the leatherette interior all right wood still the same inside the car um, the radio and everything else do look the same but um, this one has the hard navigation key on there so I turn on the radio it presents a voicemail from you and go straight to nav all right here is your navigation system I do not like that view it's kind of like a Tom Tom's view um, from top to bottom I do love the 3d view so if I go to views 3d I think it gives you more of an aerial view um, kind of gives you just I don't know better visual for me I think um, this one's pretty cool because you could just slide it sideways if you're close to something be like yeah I'm almost there um, this brings you back um, to normal if you do enter a new destination uh, cool thing about the navigation system it's just like your phone you could put an address all the way across um, the old navigation systems okay city state number house all that other stuff this one's just like your phone all the way across much easier and you could also just use the voice button here I think that even be easier to use um, just voice it and it pretty much reacts um, also on this navigation system, my destination, the last destination I was, my house destination, um, or my last um, previous places I've been, points of interest, um, give me um, restaurants, garages, and stuff like that. Um, and the cool thing about the points of interest, kind of asks you um, 
you can go like if you're going to LA you can go to the LA zip code and go from there or if you're just in this neighborhood where it's the quickest place I could find some food I'll show you everything here it's a good little navigation system it also has a built-in speed limitation if you're on a road you don't know it can go like 45 miles an hour 50 miles an hour it'll let you know where it's at so you don't get caught for speeding and I uh, love the sensor bar on the bottom um, as soon as you bring your hands to it it pulls up all the keys and it's like okay what do you want me to do um, also in this one you do have your um, sunroof I showed you the sunroof in the last one um, it tilts and opens all the way up Carnet still here also in the SEL premium which you don't get in the SE is the garage door opener um, so you can pretty much get rid of your clicker and uh, program it into here and just give them I don't know one of your kids an extra clicker or something like that leave it around the house um, but this is the SEL premium compared to the SE uh, once again uh, a lot of similar things inside the car you can plug in your phone and pull up your nav or this is what the Volkswagen nav looks like some other cool thing is about the SEL um, the SEL does have the foldable mirrors so when you unlock your car um, they kind of wake up and they're ready to go um, also when you're backing up I do believe both cars the side right mirror on the passenger side does tilt down towards the curb so it's easier for you to park on the car park the vehicle without scratching your wheels and also this one has self start so if the car's locked if you hit this twice all right let me try that again lock and hit the start button twice you should see the side things flash two times all right let me try that again lock unlock unlock Ah, I keep missing it with my fingers. Okay, lock. Unlock. Unlock. Ha <laughs> ha! There it is. I know I can get it. So, pretty cool. It starts itself. Uh, if you're in Arizona, you know it's going to be a hot day. You can have your AC on the day before, so your car will be nice and cool by the time you get to it. Um, or vice versa with the cold. As the LED lights front and back. Um, with the SEL Premium car, if your car is locked, you could actually wave your foot underneath the um, back bumper and your trunk will pop open. Um, that is if the car is locked. I have the car kind of on and running right now. So we have all the good safety features that everyone else has. The great thing about the Passat is the autonomous braking comes standard in this car. So if you're driving, something comes in front of you, the car will stop automatically. We do have the uh, side monitor, monitoring systems. No things right there. So if there's a car in your blind spot, it kind of alerts you, hey, there's a car in your blind spot. If you choose to hit your blinker and try and go over anyway, it will uh, beep and let you know, hey, do not make that uh, change into the next lane. You will hit the next car next to you. Um, it also has the adaptive cruise control. Um, if you set it for 80, there's a car in front of you going 65 miles an hour. Uh, your car will mirror that 65 miles an hour until that car moves out of the way. So. Um, oh, also, uh, rear traffic. If you're backing up in any of these cars um, and you can't see a car passing you by, just say it's not in your uh, view or vision or whatever, uh, the car will beep as well and let you know. So, I mean, we have all the features inside the Passat. The Jetta, unfortunately, I have my little construction going on over there. Um, I do not have a Jetta that has the navigation or sunroof here. I have it on my river lot across the street. This is what the color will look like on the platinum gray jetta um so it's going to have the same features the sunroof um the same navigation system that i showed you on that side um leather it just doesn't have the uh 12 inch power seats um i think it has an automatic light it doesn't have the garage door opener so the passat is the luxury and the jetta is more of the support of your car what i'll do is i'll try and have them bring a car here today so I can get a Jetta video out to you. But I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up. This is what the color looks like. And those are some of the features in the car that you will be looking at. Happy Friday, Randy. Give me a holler, man. Take care.